Michael Jordan is one of the most prominent names on the planet. Since he isn't too keen on public appearances, even a glimpse of his airness causes a frenzy among fans. Furthermore, it's safe to say that many people are scared of displeasing MJ. If he sets his sight on something, then his demands are usually met. That was again the case when Hollywood star Ben Affleck sat down with the six-time NBA champion to discuss a movie centered around MJ's deal with Nike. Air is an upcoming movie by filmmaker Ben Affleck and actor Matt Damon's new company, Artists' Equity. It is a biographical film that follows the long-standing partnership between Michael Jordan and Nike. We are introduced to Jordan's mother, a resolute woman who recognizes her son's unparalleled talent and refuses to compromise on his potential. The story follows the rise of Jordan, who eventually solidifies his position as the greatest of all time. While developing ideas with Jordan, Affleck faced a challenging demand that made him anxious. In an interview for Jimmy Kimmel, Affleck described the intimidating moment he dealt with the greatest basketball player of all time. You, uh, at his suggestion, had Viola Davis play his mom, Dolores Jordan. Suggestion, yeah. Uh, suggest I had his, I, <laughs> his insistence. I feel like Michael makes suggestions. <laughs> I don't know. I can't pretend to be, uh, I'm going to sit here and act like, yeah, we're friends. Like, I'm totally intimidated by him, and I don't know. I'm running to him a couple of times, and I was going to do the movie, and I was like, listen. Could I sit down with you and just for an hour because I'd like to talk to you about this thing. I got this script, and if you don't want me to do it, I just won't do it. Forget it. Like, just from a respect point of view and also a self-preservation. But I can't think of anything stupider than making this movie and Michael Jordan be like, this is right, You know what yeah. I mean? So yeah. I, I said, look, and, and once he seemed open to it, I was like, look, I have to, you know, it's, it's really ultimately kind of a fable, and there's going to change stuff, and we have to make it into a, a dramatic story. But what are the things that are fundamentally important to you and that are like, absolutely, you cannot violate these truths because I will not. And he's it, very tellingly, he wasn't about like, I did this, I did, he, he talked about other people. He talked about his mom. Yeah. And this is a guy who's so intimidating, so powerful. So like just sitting across from him, you just feel kind of like, ah, uh, you know, and and he had this look of, of kind of reverence and all he talked about his mother and what she meant and how he, he was like, I didn't want to go to Oregon. I would have signed away my rights for red Mercedes for life. Red, red like, Mercedes. What? Really? He's like, yeah, my mom told me this is, you know, hey, my mom went to the bank, you know, and he talked about such respect. I said, she sounds fascinating. Wow, do you think I could call her up? And he was like, you could try. Then I made the classic error of saying, so who do you think might be? It has to be Viola Davis. I was like, it does have to be Viola Davis. Despite the movie being centered around Michael Jordan, he does not appear in the film. And Affleck, the director of the movie, explained why. I just was never going to show Jordan because he's just too famous, too meaningful. I try to show you somebody that's not Michael Jordan and convince you, like, that's Michael Jordan. You did it very Media, cleverly. You're going to go, well, it's all going to see him from the he's back. He's just and like, you know, in the ether. Yeah, you see the back of it, you know, but it's like, it's about all the people around him. He's kind of too, too big for it in a way, you know, and it, it, you bring to it your imagination. We show clips of the real Michael Jordan doing what is unmistakably him. Because, like, you try to fake that, you take out away from what it, what is he really does mean, which is extraordinary. Air isn't told from the perspective of Jordan, but from the perspective of Sonny Vaccaro. Sonny Vaccaro is the marketing executive that pushed Jordan to start his own exclusive line of shoes. This gives the audience an insight into the lives of those who brought Air Jordans to life. There was already great buzz, but critics still needed to offer their early reviews on it. The general consensus is overwhelmingly positive, and it's even aiming to become one of next year's favorites during award season. One of the critics is even calling for Matt Damon's imminent Academy Award nomination for his portrayal of Sonny Vaccaro, who was the one who landed the contract. Affleck plays Nike founder Phil Knight, and both of them wrote the script. Other movie stars who appears on the film are Viola Davis as Jordan's mother, Chris Tucker, Marlon Wayans, Jason Bateman, and Jessica Green. The movie is set to release on the 5th of April, 2023. With a strong supporting cast, Air will hopefully present a truthful and enjoyable account of Nike's pursuit of a legend. Tell us in the comments what is your favorite Air Jordan shoe. And if you enjoy this video, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. For even more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Free Dawkins and Vintage Dawkins, and follow us on social media.